Hi, I'm Kevin Borland. I'm a music producer, a guitarist, and a lawyer. I'm going to tell you about an ongoing culinary adventure I embarked on last summer, and I encourage you to join me. Not just by watching my videos, but try it in your city. My quest began Monday, July 25, 2016, when I set out to cycle through the world's 206 ethnic cuisines on my lunch breaks. I call it the No Repeat Nationality Workday Lunch Challenge. In the previous episodes, I sampled 106 ethnic cuisines, mostly in and around the Washington, D.C. metro area. I took a short break from releasing video footage from my adventure while I was working on my environmental law master's thesis, but I continued my quest diligently throughout the winter. In this 17th episode, to get you up to speed with my progress, I'm going to go kind of quickly and present to you my sampling of the cuisines of 25 countries. It wouldn't be right to uh, sample the cuisines of the world without at least having pizza once. So today's country is San Marino, and it's an enclave of Italy, and no surprise, they eat Italian food. Uh, gnocchi were reportedly to be uh, invented there, but I've already had gnocchi in uh, Slovakia. So I am going to have pizza, which is very, very, very commonly eaten there. I checked the menus on lots of restaurants, and one of them even has a pizza named after San Marino, the Pizza Sita uh, for the city. So I am going to have my local pizza place here recreate that pizza for me. Toppings of pepperoni, cooked ham, mushrooms, salad greens, uh, along with the red sauce and mozzarella cheese. Today for lunch I'm going to try something from Slovenia. It's called Funstirk and I've never had food from Slovenia before. First thing I'm adding to the bowl is about a quarter of a bag of all-purpose flour. Two eggs and two to three deciliters of water. Salt and a little oil. I'm mixing it very thoroughly. I'm trying to get it to be a really uh, smooth consistency. I put it in the pan, and then I'm going to flip it once. And I'm going to try to flip it once. I'm not very good at this. Not a complete circle, but it's not too bad. There you have it. Von Sturk. Hmm. I have a cross between an omelet and like a noodle. I mean, it's not noodle, like a super thick lasagna noodle crossed with an omelet or something. It's like somewhere in between the two. I'm back in my own kitchen again today, which uh, happens when you take three weeks of vacation and then the rent is due. So I am cooking again for myself. Uh, not surprisingly, with a lot of the same ingredients from yesterday, but today's uh, lunch is from Guinea-Bissau, and it's called Bolo Amoda. It's a type of cake. First, I'm adding uh, butter and sugar, and then I'm going to add uh, about a cup of each, and then I'm going to add the uh, eggs. It's going to be about four eggs, and then I'm going to add some flour, about a cup of flour, and a little bit of milk, maybe a spoonful of milk. And then I'm gonna bake it. Okay, I added all four eggs, so now I'm gonna add the flour. The right consistency, now I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. And that should be it. Put it in a, to bake it in. Put it in at 350 and now I just have to wait a half hour. All right, I'm ready to try some. It's a nice simple cake. It's almost uh, like a sponge cake. It's very, very good. I think if uh, I were to make this for a party or something, I'd probably put some kind of you know, icing on it or a topping or something like that. But it's good. It's good by itself. You know, it's got enough sugar in there. It'd be very sweet. 
I approve. Back at the Swahili Village Restaurant in Beltsville, Maryland, and this time I'm going to try some food from Tanzania. Maharagwe, which is a bean dish with sides of chapati and uh, ugali. One's a bread and one's a porridge. And this looks good. I can't wait to try it. I took the metro to Georgia Avenue, Petworth, and I'm gonna try some fried perch at a restaurant called Fish in the Hood. And they eat fried perch in South Sudan. I'm gonna try some Filipino food today from the Purple Patch. called Lane, and it's made with uh, dried taro leaves uh, and coconut milk. Today I shaved and I'm doing food from Sao Tome and Principe. It's an omelet with sweet potatoes. It's good. Today I'm trying some Baltic food from Latvia. Pork chop. Pork, potatoes, cottage, cottage cheese. Palm oil to fry this, and I'm going to add some white pepper that I already chopped and a habanero pepper. Smells good. Add some curry powder and some chili powder. Next, I add the okra. And I'm going to stew it in some water. And I'll season it and wait, and it should be about 25 minutes. So the peanuts are in liquid right now and I'm going to put it in the fridge for a couple hours and we'll see what happens. Dose de Ginguba, which is a peanut dessert from Angola. I should have probably should have wait, waited longer to let it set, but it's delicious. Today I'm trying the Tabi Yakotumba from the Democratic Republic of Congo, and that is grilled goat. Today I'm gonna to try Oot Super Suit from the Federated States of Micronesia. Oot Super Suit is bananas in coconut milk. Today I'm headed to the Cafe Mozart for some authentic German food. They get to go, but I'm gonna have sauerbraten, bread dumplings, uh, spatzla, and uh, Linzer tartlet, and some uh, German juice or soda.
say I'm trying what has been described as comfort food from the island of Cape Verde, or Verde, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. Um, it's uh, almost like a risotto with uh, chicken that was browned and then boiled in the rice. Today I'm trying a Kazakhstani radish salad. And the simple dressing doesn't uh, drown out the uh, radish flavor either. It's very good. Today's country is Mauritius, and the dish is prawn rugale. It's good. It's uh, shrimp, as you expect uh, to have some seafood on an island, and it has some French influence. Uh, they're a French colony. It's with rice. Uh, it's a little spicy. It's got some chilies in there. Very good. <laughs> Ordered the ox tongue and ox artery to put in high protein. Ox tongue. Mm. Really good. And some ox artery. Yum. <laughs> it's a little chewy, almost like fried. Today I'm trying food from uh, Rwanda, and uh, this is called Kachumbari. It's a uh, salad that's eaten all around the Great Lakes region of East Africa. And it's got a lot of onions in it. It kind of smells like onions. Uh, tomato, looks like avocado. All right. It's onion. -y. But it's got some good flavors with the avocado and cilantro and stuff. Today I'm going to try food from the African island nation of Comoros. Uh, the dish is called Akoho Si Moanio. Uh, it's a uh, chicken dish, chicken breasts, and served over rice. ginger and the vegetables and the coconut milk. It reminds me of a uh, uh, Thai curry, but without the curry paste. Tastes good though. Today I'm trying rice pala, which is a rice porridge from uh, Today I'm trying curried orange chicken from Seychelles. And uh, it's got uh, raisins and almonds, and it's uh, like an all juice kind of gravy. Uh, give it a shot. And that's baked, by the way, so uh, I'm not. Maybe somebody uh, that's been to culinary school can tell me if I got the term right, whether it's all juice or not, but it's. Uh, you have to keep basting it in its own uh, juices in the tray along with the uh, mandarin orange juice and the rest of the marinade. There's a lot of stuff that goes into there. Today I'm trying a dish from Zambia. Uh, it, it's almost like uh, crab cakes, but instead of crab, it has uh, canned corned beef. So let's try it. They'll 
It's uh, actually mixed in with potato too. So, uh, I think I prefer crab, but it's not that at all. Today I'm going to try Tava Prizreni, which is a vegetarian casserole from uh, Kosovo. Today I'm trying mushroom soup from Montenegro. Today I'm trying Tova Kosi or uh, Albanian lamb casserole. Uh, similar to the Kosovan casserole, it has a lot of yogurt and eggs. Uh, it has no cheese though. It's a uh, low on vegetables and high on meat and it has uh, different spices like oregano so it's a completely different dish although being neighbors their food clearly influences each other excellent and the uh, oregano gives this lamb a really interesting flavor I'm going to post new episodes every Thursday night on YouTube and on my Facebook fan page until I complete my journey. Be sure to tune in next Thursday when I sample food from Southern Europe. I also encourage you to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page or both. If you do, you'll get to hear a lot of my music and keep tabs on some of the other interesting projects I'm working on. And also, sharing is caring.